well, well. I often work with a lot of different people inside of my Notion workspace. I have a pretty cool setup when it comes to task management for myself and my team. And something that I've been working through recently is this amazing update that Notion added that is pretty secret to the way properties work. Let's dive right into it. So first of all, if you go onto any database, you'll notice here that obviously you can add properties and edit properties. This has always been a thing. But now when I click on a property and go into its settings, you'll see right here that there's this little tooltip icon. What I can do here is I can click on it and type out something like this showcases whether the piece of content is for internal or external use. Internal meaning personal social media and external meaning clients, social media accounts. All right, so that's exactly what this means. And what's really cool is after I press enter, you'll see that this little tooltip now pops up. And when I hover over the property, whether I hover over this or just the general thing, right? It showcases the name of the property, as you can see uh, where it says BAU slash EXT on that little tooltip. And it says exactly what I typed in. This showcases whether the piece of content is for internal or external use and then everything else I put. If you notice, I'm pressing shift enter here and I could actually add some spacing here to make it a little bit better. So I can put internal equals personal social media and I can put external by putting shift enter, external equals client social media. Make it a little better formatted here and then clear out any of the extra. And after pressing enter, you'll see now that I have an even better formatted version of this. So this is pretty great. Essentially by using shift enter and typing into this little property field, I'm able to add all the context needed. This is probably very useful for a couple different items here. So you'll notice that there's this status property, right? So for me, I have a bunch of different status properties with different meanings. And what I could do in theory is take this and add a tooltip and go into my notion. And then essentially I can go into the edit property, add tooltip or add description technically, and it type out the meanings of all of these different statuses. So I could put something like status, the following statuses are for content at different stages of production with the definitions that follow. So now I just put shift enter, a little bit of a dash, or if you wanna make it even cooler, there's this website that I always go to uh, I look up Twitter bullet, and you'll notice that there's these little like bullet icons. So I can go here, put that in there, and then put idea, put shift enter, keep pasting it, write the name of the property, and then continuously go through them all. And as I finish this up with the last two, I'll put scheduled and published. And you'll notice here that not only does it show up in the view that I had earlier as in the table view, but it also shows up when you're on this page. So you can see right here inside of the page when you're hovering over the properties, it would show this. This is really useful for internal team use and for external use. I have a lot of clients who don't quite know what the different statuses mean. So this is gonna explain this to them, right? So we have idea, just decently self-explanatory but I'll just say initial idea stage of content. And then for scripting, I'll put actively writing script. Creating, I'll put actively recording, stuff like that. And I'll point out that I actually had to limit the beginning because it does seem like there's a bit of a character limit. So I'm gonna tweak this. So I'm gonna put recording slash writing actual content. So that's because we do videos and blogs. Editing, I'll put assets created, now editing. Just like very short definitions to give some context. Obviously this is gonna be easier if you have less properties than me. Approved means approved by client. Rendered means first draft complete. And then for the last two, it's pretty self-explanatory. So maybe delete them, but you'll see that if it wasn't an insane amount of these, it would make more sense. But I essentially put what were the biggest questions that people seem to have when, when it comes to the different statuses and this is it right and now they're able to hover over this and see the different statuses and what they mean just to point out right here let's go to another item here if we go into the back end you'll see that this shows up in the table view but let's check it out in other views right i just want to point out to you what does and doesn't show so let's go to the board view and if for any reason let's just filter to a specific item like the one that we were just on so let's just type one of my videos for a client and showcase the property. You'll notice that when I hovered over it here, editing the properties, it shows the tooltip, which is pretty great. And then I'm gonna show that here. Now, interestingly enough, 
it does not showcase what this means in a board view. Let's check out other views like the timeline view. It does not show it there when you hover over, not that I was expecting it. Now when it comes to the gallery view, once again, it doesn't show it or even give you an option to check out the tooltip. The only views that it shows you is literally table when you click inside of it and then when you're editing the property. Now that's a little limited for my taste. If they're able to have a hover here and then like a sub hover where I could like hover over the tooltip on the name, that'd be perfect. But unfortunately, Notion is a little bit limited in that sense. I've always been a little frustrated with some of the minute details that they miss in that regard, but I understand why table would be the one that they'd be able to show it the most because it's showing the property name. And same with when you're inside of an actual piece of content, this obviously makes sense. And this is a great improvement. This isn't some like minor thing because it can really just explain stuff to people so often. <laughs> if you even wanted to, you can get crazy with it and put like a loom inside of the description. And then if someone's able to edit the property, they could always, I'll be like, oh, let's grab the loom. That'd be an interesting one to do for sure. I usually embed looms on pages, but it's a wild thought I just had, which in practice might be a little complicated, but you know, just trying to think outside of the box for everybody. Also, just so you know, there were a couple other updates made that Notion announced on its website a couple days ago. Pages supposedly load faster. Yeah, as the uh, kids say, I call cap. There is no way that this means fast. This just means faster than what slow was. So search apparently improved. Yeah, sure. And then also an actual good update is that when it comes to settings now if we go to sites you can check out the pages that are publicly posted like i do have a lot of publicly posted pages this one's a big one this notion app system page that i use for like people seeing the free course that i have as well as check out any of the skillshare courses i have and my high level templates so this is very convenient. I can see all of the public pages from here, which makes a lot of sense. And I appreciate the heck out of this telling me how much of my workspace is a little bit exposed if I mess up. But overall, pretty solid update. I'm happy with what Notion's doing towards the end of the year, and I hope it continues to improve speed-wise and functionality-wise. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out this video on how to improve your skills using Notion.